what is like the one conversation that you guys had with your father at the dinner table that you will never forget? Well, I remember mm -hmm. my father telling me um, when I was 12 years old, I, t I told him quite seriously that I was going to be a professional basketball player. Okay. I, I said, I'm, I'm playing four or five hours every day. <laughs> I said, I'm the best in my class, and this is what I'm going to do. And when I was 12, he sat me down and explained to me that my favorite player on the Boston Celtics was a guy named Tiny Archibald. And he said, they call him Tiny because he's 6'2". He said, and I'm the, I'm the tallest Damon ever to evolve, and I'm 5'11". He said, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> and so, I, so that, was a, that actually happened, and I took all of my energy from that moment, and I directed it into acting. Mm -hmm. True story. Wow, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Aww. My dad and my mom, I, I was actually 17 when I told them I was going to be an actor at the dinner table, and they were both shocked, shocked. And I can remember because it was like a Paul fell over at the dinner table. You know, everyone was like, oh, no. But then, <laughs> you know, but to their credit, and they were like, who told you this? Who told you you could do this? Was this your drama teacher? Um, but to their credit, they, they were like, okay. And they let me, you know, apply to drama mm -hmm. schools and stuff. As long as it was a university, I couldn't go to a conservatory. Right, right. But I do remember that night really clearly. <laughs> they, they just want it to. They, they just don't want you to do anything that seems like being a basketball player. Like that. Right, right. No, he nipped that in the bud. Yeah, yeah. He's like, look, that's not going to happen. Uh -huh. I uh -huh. mean, I still think it would have, but you know, had I been able to apply myself, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's pretty good. It was pretty good. Yep. You know, um, what was like for you, bo for both of you, the most fun set you've ever been on? Well, it doesn't get much more fun than this. this like is when when fun, you've got yeah. a director that's that prepared and and a great group. Of, I mean, the crew that that works with George, they've all worked with him before. Mm -hmm. It's the best of the best yeah. in every department. He gives everybody space to do their best work, and so everyone feels valued and appreciated, and it really feels like a family. Um, you know, the days aren't too long because everyone's prepared, and um, you know, it, it just it's a very sensible and fun way to to work. So I mean, as as you know. You can't do it and have much more fun than this and still be professional. Right, that's true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would say, yeah, I, I, I agree. I mean, it was a great set. It was so easy mm -hmm. and it was so, um, yeah, pl you know, great people, great hours. Great hours, <laughs> I think, yeah. I think I, I think I would agree. Great weeks for you. That's great Monday, weeks, short Tuesdays. weeks, exact, sometimes Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they just gave me the wrap. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thanks a lot.